listen, I'm not, not even an, a pandemic's going to get me to fold laundry. I'm not yeah. doing it. Hello, welcome to the Anxiety Club podcast. We are your co-hosts, Tori and... Terry. Terry. Hello. <laughs> We're here for a bonus episode with some of the ways to reduce anxiety and distract yourself from all this coronavirus news. I don't know about you, Carrie, but yesterday I feel like there was an elephant on my chest all day long. And I don't even know if it was really the sickness anxiety or if it was just there was way too much stuff going on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Actually, I've been pretty not anxious, which is odd. Um, but I think it's because I'm on a social media cleanse. So I'm not Excellent. like. Yeah, I'm not getting that constant. Say. Yeah, I'm not getting that constant like, hey, here's my two cents. Here's my two cents. Here's this article to scare you. Like, so it's been kind of good. I'm just kind of in my little bubble and I don't I don't know ignorance is bliss, I guess. So, no, yeah, awesome. I have I'm going to send you a message. Yesterday when you said like last week you were like, "Oh, I picked a bad time." And I'm like, "No, you picked the perfect time." <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine what it's like right now on social media and I'm not interested in finding out. So yeah, yeah, no, it's been good. I'm, I'm happy to, I mean, you know, you read the news and that gets you a little bit wound up, but I think I'm so much in my own, um, just sadness about not being able to travel this weekend and being stuck in the house. So yeah, that's its own, its own thing. That's its own thing. Ask you about which kind of what things have been different and how we're going to cope with them and how moms are going to cope with that is yeah. I know Ohio closed schools uh, mm-hmm. Thursday. I forget where else closed. Um, mm-hmm. Now a bunch of places closed. Friday morning, yeah. my son's school emailed. Well, Thursday evening, I kind of figured it was coming because they were like, hey, uh, send us your technology things that you have in your house mm. so we can know. And um, then Friday morning they did send. So I figured. They yeah. Were like, we're not completely canceling. We're doing school from home, which will be nice. Um, yeah. Hopefully it works. It's, we'll see how it works. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, we're, well, our school district, they close for two weeks on Friday, but my daughter's preschool is still open as of right now. Um, it's a smaller kind of private preschool. So they don't kind of follow the, the school the, the, um, districts stuff, but I don't know how long that's going to last. Um, uh, my daughter's swimming just got canceled. Um, Mm. so that's done. Well, that's done for two weeks. So, um, there was my one chance to get out of the house tomorrow. (laughs) Um, and she keeps saying she wants to go to the zoo because we go to the zoo a lot, but I just got an email that they, they have now like closed the zoo until indefinitely. So Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd say walk where we have plans to play soccer in the backyard a yeah. little later, which I'm really trying to stick to. Yeah. We've done, uh, we do like two walks a day as long, you know, weather permitting, luckily it's just a little bit chilly. It's not bad. So, um, and both my kids love to be outside, so that's good. So we've, we've been outside a lot. We've been in every room of this house 10 million times. <laughs> it, uh, it's already getting old, so I can't imagine it's going to get a whole lot more annoying as time goes on. But, um, and it's, it always, it falls on mom, like mom, figure out what fun things we're going to do. Mom, what's for lunch? Mom, what's for dinner? Mom, where's the toilet paper? You know, um, that man stole it from my cart at Costco. Um, you know, it's <laughs> <never> really happened <laughs> to you. No, it didn't happen. No. Oh, okay. I, because I've I heard, heard of there someone. Were, yeah. Yeah. No, someone that my mom knows got toilet paper stolen out of there. Like, calm down. Wow. Yeah. The toilet paper is not going to save you. I know right. it's not. It's not. Um, <laughs> it's not. I, and I think it's a control thing, you know, it especially with yeah. us, with our anxiety. It's always a control thing. Like our anxiety says, worry about all this stuff so you can control it. So when stuff like this happens, it's like, what do I have control over? I can go buy toilet paper. Um, and I think that panic has, I, it's crazy to me. Um, 
Now I did do my Costco run a month ago when this wasn't a big deal. So I had all my toilet paper because my anxiety was like, we're almost out of toilet paper. So yeah. there's a, there's a positive to my anxiety is that I was already concerned about toilet paper way before this even started. So I am stocked up. Uh, <laughs> glad to hear. Glad to hear you. Yeah, I told some, yeah. somebody else asked me, she was like, now do you have toilet paper? When I had to cancel, yeah. they were canceling appointments. And I was like, yeah, I do my subscribe and save on Amazon. So I'm good. Oh, nice. like, now I know where to come. Yeah. Yeah. But I did see last night, I went to order more of um, Sawyer's formula because you know, he's 10 months. So he's still on formula. And he does goat milk because he can't, you know, he's fancy. He can't do the regular stuff because his tummy's sensitive. Um, and I ordered it and I just saw like the big case I order is out and they have a three case limit and they've never had that before. So, oh, wow. Yeah. So that's starting yeah. to be a hoarding situation too. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. and even just seeing that stuff makes you anxious. Like, oh my God, like, do I need to buy more? Do I need to buy three cases of this expensive formula? Like, you really like the panic, it becomes this like at one person panics and then everyone panics. Right. So, and social media definitely makes everyone panic. Definitely. And it, that makes it worse. And, and you're right. That is exactly now that you're saying that it's the fear of the unknown. And that's why I was set off yesterday because it's like we can't plan anything because yeah. I am waiting for what's going to follow me. Am I going to have? am I still going to have a sitter come or is that, you know, selfish? Am I going to teach clients if they want to, or is that selfish? Right. right. Um, you know, trying to do all that. And then also if Isaac is going to have to work right. and be forced out, what does that mean? Does that mean that he's forced out and then they pro like provide hotels for the guys there when they're off? Right. Or yeah. Going to be coming home and, you know, isolating for the eight hours he's home. Um, <sighs> yeah. Know. It's all, yeah. All trying the brain to figure just it goes. out. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. mom's got to figure it out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, Ruben was sick. Eli was sick. I had a sinus infection. Yeah. So, and Ugh. we were talking with a friend who's a pediatrician and saying, mm. Yeah, these kids are coming in with these symptoms. They can't get tested. It may right. just look like a common cold. It may look like this. So, right. Um, and little kids are constantly coughing breathing. and wiping their nose. Yeah. <laughs> um, I had to go get a, a daycare form for Ev on Friday, and the pediatrician's office was just packed full of kids coughing with masks on. And it's like, it's kind of this time of year they're always doing right. that, but that's always in the back of your mind. And then you're just, extra stressed out. So, um, I think this is a good opportunity for us to say, Hey, here's, you know, the stuff we do to try to manage how anxious we get. And then hopefully that will help other moms kind yes. of get through this. Yeah. This interesting is a, time. <laughs> you're right. I think this is a great opportunity to help others. And that's kind of what I needed because <laughs> that helps me. And sure. I pretty much said, I'm doing this today. I need some time to sit on my computer um, yeah. to get it out of my head so that I can plan and help other moms. Yeah. And so some of the other things that we were talking about might have been canceled. Yeah, library is canceled. Mom's group is canceled. Music class, like you're swimming. Yeah. All of that. So I really and mother And motherhood of little kids is so isolating anyways. And now right. we're being forced to be isolated. Um, is that makes it really tough, really it, tough. It does. Uh, I think there is only now more people are understanding, I want to say, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um, which is good, but let's go into our kind of what we can do. Yeah. Um, I guess I want to mention first, uh, I'm setting up a little anxiety club pop-up and if you go to the Facebook page or, yeah, the Facebook page where there's events, then you'll be able to get the link and the times to join those so that we can have our own little moms group uh, talking with people nice. from everywhere. So I'm yeah. really excited to be able to do that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so one of the things is if you're, you know, as long as you're not driving to work or anything is just close your eyes and take a deep breath slowly for five and then out 
for five. And this is one of the things, this is like my primary coping skill is just like, okay. Deep breaths are, are the best. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, and I think too, as, as people are anxious, we tend to kind of hold our breath and we don't take deep breaths and we're also not aware of our breathing. So um, just becoming more aware of it makes you more present, gets you out of your head, gets you more into the situation. And you're like, oh yeah, I'm still in this living room with my kids and there's toys everywhere. Great. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then you get hit in the head with a Nerf ball and you're like, oh God. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Here it's luckily this tells you how great we are with cleaning up. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. For Eli's birthday was February second. We still have balloons, like the decorations. Because <laughs> I, I think they add some character to the keep, house. Keep keep the party going. We are keeping keep it going. So when yeah. we need a balloon, we can just grab one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Blow up balloons. That helps you get into your breath. That's true. And balloons are fun. Who doesn't love a good balloon? And now I know maybe some people have hoarded gloves. So oh, you can blow, blow those up. Blow gloves. Turn that, turn those lemons into lemonade. Right. <laughs> it's a <Great>. bonus tip. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. You already mentioned you're already doing this, which I'm jealous of because I really should do it. Is put down your phone and walk away. Mm -hmm. Turn off the news, turn off the radio. I had to stop doing my Alexa, like morning news briefings because it was yeah. the same thing. Yeah. Um, and the social media, step away. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Even if you, you want to get, you know, your data at some point in time throughout the day, I can understand that, but set a yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. Set, set, you know, if it's, you know, whenever you're kind of at your, I would say calmest, be like, okay, I'm going to just kind of update so that I know, because you don't want to be blissfully unaware completely. You need to know what's going on, but set up that time and be like, this is my timer. This is how long I'm going to read about it. And then I'm going to put it away. And I'm just going to kind of focus on making this, you know, Play-Doh pizza or having the dance party, like you were saying before that you guys were doing. Um, and it has been, it's amazing how sucked in you get to social media. And I, it's amazing how in some ways I feel disconnected from the world, mm -hmm. but also how much more present I am in my own little world, which is kind of nice. Although I have missed a couple birthdays and I feel awful, but I also think I'm so in my own head about like being sad about missing, not being able to go on my first trip by myself for two years. Um, I think I'm just so focused on the sadness of that, that I kind of wasn't paying attention to keeping everything else in focus there, but yeah, it's, it's, it's good. Like throw the phone somewhere, hide it. Like, and the kids are tend to be better. At least my kids tend to be better behaved when I don't have my phone because I'm present, I'm engaged. They've got my attention and they're not trying to get my attention right. by like losing their minds. So right. that's been nice. That is nice. They, I mean, they still lose their minds, but like, <laughs> like an eight instead of a 10, you know, Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. So you already mentioned yeah. uh, the dance party. That was my next thing. Turn on the music, have a dance party because moving around definitely helps decrease that anxiety and it's fun and yeah. you get to engage with your kids or, you know, you can do that when they're asleep too. <laughs> yeah. If you want to dance to music that they don't yeah. like. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Your Dance favorite. to your gangster rap. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and not to Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood on repeat or whatever that might be that the mm -hmm. kids are listening to these days. Lori Berkner. Oh. Oh, yeah, has, yeah, yeah. Has Ev has listened to them. Yes. Okay. Yeah, she has. I, I like A little them. bit. I like yeah. Them, but I accidentally played the Sound of Music soundtrack for her which I love. And she's killed that for me now because now she wants to sing the do re mi song, but she puts a three and a half year old spin on it. So it's just, she just walks around, how, around the house going, do, 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 say, do, so, do, so, re, mi. And I want to put my head through a wall. Um, so that, that's my fault. That's my fault. Should not have introduced her to the sound of music. You just never know. You're it like, is this hard is a good idea. Know. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's when not, it we wasn't a good idea. Those favorites from our child. She's <laughs> killed it. She has killed it for me. Can't, cannot. Maybe take Julie a break. Andrews is dead to me. Maybe yeah. back. <laughs> Maybe in a little bit, she'll be better. Maybe when she's 10. Oh, I, yeah. I got to get her on something else. It's been like that and the Wiggles and um, Sawyer's loving um, Skidamarink, which was my favorite song as a kid. And yeah. so that's still been good, but um, thank God for Echoes who can just play whatever music you want. <laughs> so that's nice. All right. So now that you had said that, we can say we frame things positively or let's kind of go air on the side of gratitude. And that, that I like to say kind of goes along with that taking a deep breath and just say, cause I'll do that. I'll just take a deep breath. I'm grateful that I'm here right now having this time with my kids or, or if it's like a five minute run, you know, by myself in the bedroom or yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. that little escape, you know, I'm grateful that I have the opportunity to be doing this, or I'm grateful that we have this house, you know, to be yeah. isolated in. Yeah. Um, yeah. Kind of <laughs> yeah. <laughs> crazy. This is just so crazy. It is. It is. <laughs> but I, I, the, the upside that I've seen on social media is people saying, you know, we're all in this together. And they're saying that on the news as well. Yeah. Um, that we're in this together because we're helping each other pretty yeah. much. We're all helping each other. Yeah. Um, so then one of my last things was, I told you to put down your phone, but now we can pick up our phone or the computer um, and FaceTime, not just text, because I feel like that is one of, that just to me seems isolating sometimes as well. Yeah. Um, and then have this like one-on-one -on -one time, just schedule a chat with a friend, um, time for the mom's group. You can come to the online mom's group. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. What else is there to do face-to-face? -face? We, we already face yeah with somebody today so yeah um my daughter loves to get on snapchat and do the funny faces as she calls them on snapchat so we'll like snapchat you know my sister-in-law or um my brother and you know we can kind of have fun conversations back and forth with that she thinks those are hilarious and um so even if you don't want to do like a full phone call you can just kind of snapchat and be like you know, quarantine 2020 is going down and you've got, you know, your boat captain um, filter on. So uh, <laughs> there, there's all those different ways to just be so random. But that is the positive about technology is that we are way more connected than we ever have been. Think about 10 years ago, if we were all quarantined, like, I, be on I, you know, Titan. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Be like, who's in the chat room, you guys? No, that was even longer than 10 years ago. But <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, we're aging ourselves. But yeah, but yeah there's yeah, a 10 lot. 10 years more. ago. Wow, that was, I married 10 years ago. Now I can like that, put that in oh, perspective. Wow. Yeah, that's, it goes so fast. Um, but yeah, there's a lot more ways to connect. And I think it's kind of forcing us, this too is forcing us to be more present and with our family. So there's me framing it positive. I guess, even though I'd much rather be in Nashville with my best friend. <laughs> no, not, no. I want to spend all my time possible with my children. Oh, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you had to have some, some carry time. Yeah. Everyone maybe next there. year, maybe next year. It's been two years. It's I not. haven't gone anywhere since I had Sawyer and it's been, it'll be two years next month since I've done like a girl's thing. Um, but I guess I can do many FaceTime trips with the girls be like, Hey, you know, while the husband watches the kids or if they're napping or whatever, that's always good too, to, to see other women who get it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> or when you drive the kids around, um, yes. show a hands for people who throw the kids in the car to drive them around because that's a break, um, which is crazy. Uh, but like, that's um, true. Where do we, we can, we can always drive around. We don't have to go. Yeah. Anywhere. We just no, have a little, you can, little road yeah, trip. Quarantine in the car. Everybody gets snacks in the back seat. You put on like whatever music, if everyone's um, pleasant with that. And then you just drive around, which is, that's like, that's a nice break. 
sometimes when it's like you've been in the house way too long and obviously you can't really go anywhere and you've been outside enough and played all the games outside, like strap them into those car seats and drive around. (laughs) That's my favorite. That is a great one. Very (laughs) great one. Uh, All right. Is there anything else we want to talk about today? (laughs) What are we, what are we, we need to give ourselves assignments. What are we going to um, work on? Um, I, I don't have anything else. Just, uh, wash your hands. Wash your hands. Don't freak, don't freak out and wash your hands That's and right. don't make out with random strangers. I mean, these have been life lessons that have been passed down from generation to generation. Wash your hands. Don't kiss strangers. Hashtag I, keep it yeah, to yourself. Ahead. Hashtag keep it to yourself. Um, and, and hashtag don't freak out. Don't freak Just, just don't. common like sense, this. right? Yes. Hashtag. Hashtag. That's um, like gangster hashtag. <laughs> everything's gangster <laughs> I've gone I, uh, you know how I live my life I'm a gangster True. No, I'm not I just saw this little like hat walk past the window and it's just Evie and my husband like Evie's <laughs> little pom-pom hat just walked past the window that's She's, adorable they're still outside yeah I don't know what they're doing but I'm over. <laughs> Maybe they're picking up like sticks and stuff, cleaning up the yard. It's amazing the things you're getting done around the house that like have, have been like put off because you're constantly running around, right? It's like this activity to this activity, to that activity. And now it's like everything stops. So you're like, oh, let me organize the spice cabinet. Oh so yeah. Do things that you haven't been able to do around the house. And we all have those things. We all have them. Definitely. Get those cobwebs out from Fold the laundry and put it away. Oh. Listen, I'm not, not even an, a pandemic is going to get me to fold laundry. I'm not <laughs> doing it. It'll stay in a pile on the bed. I'm not doing it. I draw the line. <laughs> <laughs> Just take the clean clothes out of the pile. They don't get folded. <laughs> now I'm on a rant. No. <laughs> I'll wear yoga pants anyways. They don't need folded. That's Where true. am I going? I'm not going anywhere. I'm quarantined. That's true. I w- so when I was putting on my makeup today after I got to brush my teeth, I was like, amazing. Oh, that's an upside. No makeup. Yeah. I don't have to worry about putting stuff on. Girl, I haven't worn makeup since I had Sawyer 10 months ago. Ain't nobody got time for that. I just I don't. A three and a half year old and a 10 month old, I do not have time for makeup. I don't. Like you're, you should be lucky that I splashed some water on my face <laughs> before I came into this store. <laughs> I have, I don't wear makeup anymore. I'm just like, what's the point? This 30, almost eight year old skin is just glowing. <laughs> <laughs> I, we got to get, um, um, it's too much now. We got to go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's close this down. I'm like, let's not feed into the craziness. Like if you're going to go online, show us what positivity is going on in your life. Give us your best like quarantined hack. Like I made a, um, you know, obstacle course in the living room and the kids have been playing with it all day. And I got to like sit on the couch, like just feed us the positivity. We want to hear the good stuff about being stuck in the house. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, hashtag mm-hmm. that something. I'll put it on social media too. Yeah. Um, yeah you have to because I'm on a cleanse. Yeah. All right. So tag us at the Momsiety Club. Use hashtag positivity, hashtag Momsiety Club. Yep. Um, we'll find you. So thanks. This was supposed to be a bonus episode, but it was a pretty awesome episode. So yeah. I think well, we will. Like um, we do. Yeah, that's true. Um, like you do. Like I said, you mm-hmm. are the, you're carrying it. <laughs> they don't call me Carrie hey. for nothing. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. So oh, thanks yeah. for checking in with us. At the yeah. Mobile thanks Club. for stopping by guys. Um, th- so since this is our new podcast, please subscribe so that you get it right away. Mm-hmm. And then tell a mom friend. Tell 10 mom friends because we just them all want into the to help you. And um, when you like, when you subscribe, when you do all that stuff, um, that helps other people find us. So please mm-hmm. do that. 
and so the reach, club gets bigger and cooler. Right, right. And reach out to us. That I'll put our phone number online because you can leave us a voice memo of like what your positivity things are if you want mm-hmm. to be, you know, featured on one of the other episodes. And um, I will also just put our email because you can feel free to email us, Facebook, blah, yeah. blah, us. I mean, me right now until Carrie's done. <laughs> I'm quarantined. I've quarantined the quarantine. I'm double quarantined. <laughs> All right. All right. Reach bye, out everybody. to Tori. She got you. Bye, guys. Thanks bye. for stopping. <laughs> See ya. <laughs>